I shall be damn near decapitates himself. If this is real, this is crazy. I got sent a video of I show speed doing the bench press at home and it kind of going wrong. I've seen about half the footage. I'm not 100% sure if bro's actually being serious, but when watching it, I think it'd just be better if I go with the outlook that it's real just because then I think we can give actual tips. Let's go. Ooh. First things first, when training at home, I'm gonna tell you a big tip, wear shoes. Like unless you're doing like a deadlift or a squat or something, you want like a flat surface, I would recommend wearing shoes. You don't know how many times during lockdown, I accidentally dropped a weight on my foot. So I'd personally not train barefoot. So that's a, that's a big tip. Cause dropping a weight on your foot, trust me, there is no other pain like it. Let's start off light. One set, two sets real quick. You know what, for someone of his size, that's not a warm up. Like I'd be surprised if he can get like eight, 10 reps. I know a lot of people try and downplay one plate either side, but it is a fair amount of weight. An average guy couldn't walk into the gym and lift one plate either side. Let's go. I would have went a little bit wider. I will say shouts out to my guy's calf. I can see calf gains in there. But while he's setting up the weight, two things I would say is that for one, if his feet wasn't pressed off the ground, because when you're doing a bench press, a lot of people don't realize that Having your feet properly grounded so you can kind of structure your body, feel stable and just power through is important because him lifting his feet off the ground makes it even harder to lift the weight. And then it also makes you kind of protrude forward. I mean, you sit down properly, ground your feet, press your shoulder blades into the bench and push forward. It's all about getting your set up right to be able to lift the weight. And for what we saw so far, that didn't look like it was easy. I think he did like what two reps of that and he looked like a struggle. I would not be up in the weight. Like for example, the best thing for building muscle, if those of you watching, is to actually do a decent amount of reps. Don't just aim for like one rep maxes all the time. It's an ego thing that a lot of newbies often do. Like if you're a power lifter, that's different. If your goal is to build muscle, don't be obsessed with the one rep maxes. They do not help as much as doing quality amount of reps. See, watching him put two plates on there, I thought he was gonna put like on like a five or something. So this is him trolling. I'm gonna assume he knows damn well he can't lift two plates. That one plate was a struggle to get like two. If he tried to lift that weight, then this video would 100% be real. He would decapitate himself. I don't think he's got the strength in his arms or his whole body to lift two plates on the bench. And that's not no disrespect because two plates is heavy. You know what I mean? One plate is heavy for an average guy. Two plates is almost unheard of for a typical person. You need to lift for a fair amount of time. It's too much, too much, too much, too much. All right, so this is important. You should definitely humble yourself. Like a lot of people try and chase the, he the heavier weights from day one. That aside, I will say shout out to I Show Speed because he is definitely, even if he's not intentionally doing it, he's motivating people to, to work out. Because when you have a big audience like this dude has, like what, millions upon millions of followers, at the end of the day, a lot of people are going to watch and a lot of people are going to be influenced. So for that reason, I commend him. Inshallah. <laughs> but going back to the video, this is the one thing as well. Always pay attention when you are in the gym. Because as you can see, he's missed put the weight on like he's put like too much weight on one side. Lifting weights can be very dangerous. All it takes is one miss out and a lot of people injure themselves in the gym. That's not to scare beginners, but it's just to let you know that try and focus on what you're doing rather than outside oh. things. All right, so he's put the right weight on there now. One. Okay, he got one up. I don't think that's good. Okay, this must be the scene. <laughs> I'm not laughing because it's funny. I'm laughing because I don't think this... Um, I don't know, like what, let me comment down below. Do you think this is actually legit? Like do you think he's actually struggling or is it a joke? So as he's struggling, let's go over it. So one of the things I will say here to even before you get in this predicament, what you can do, if you're in a gym, then obviously you can ask someone to spot you. It's a regular thing, a lot of people do it. However, I do know a lot of people don't like doing that. So what you can do is if, you, if you're in a rack like he is, I think he actually does have the guardrails, which is these things here. You lift them higher and they need to be higher than your body. So in the event that you can't lift the weight up, you can squeeze out. But in the event that you don't have guardrails available, I would probably say then you should definitely in this scenario, not try and lift as heavy as possible. Try and make sure you're comfortable with the weights. It hasn't got to be easy, but like in this scenario, Speed did two reps on one plate, then up the weight and tried to do more. That's not what you should do. You should lift the weight that you can do at least eight reps. I would say probably at least 10 as a beginner. And then you kind of stick with that. There are going to be times when it gets a little bit hard, but it's 
the fact that you could do them for reps initially, you'll kind of know when you start fatiguing out and that's when you want to be safe and rack the weights. If this did happen and you get to this point, so you can do one of two things. Some people purposely in this scenario wouldn't put the clips on. So if you need to turn the weight off, you can kind of roll to the side and then the weight would just slide off. However, that can kind of make you barricade a bit. So some people find that a little bit scary. But if you do keep the clips on, just try and roll yourself to the side and just try and squeeze under. I can't breathe, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. <laughs> if this is real, this is crazy. I don't even... <laughs> the mad thing is, if the guardrail wasn't even there, this would have been a lot harder, because if it was just him in the bench, to get on, out underneath would have been much harder. His face. Inshallah, inshallah. Man said, inshallah, you know. He's basically, he's basically a comedian, so I don't 100% know if that was legit. You know what I mean? But let's go with the scenario that it was legit. Um, the safest option you need to do is if you're training by yourself, so it's much better to start light, gauge your strength level, and then gradually, don't jump up by like 10 kg, 20 kg when it comes to bench press, because those are big margins. You need to jump up by like 2.5 to 5 kg max, lift the weight and see how it feels, then try again. Never do large increment jumps like the first time he went from one plate to two plates. It's not going to happen. So in essence, if you're a beginner watching, this is almost, I guess, how not to bench press because... I think he's almost doing this for entertainment purposes. But if you're a beginner watching that's maybe thinking about starting the gym, but you're a little bit worried, especially after watching Speed damn near almost decapitate himself, the best thing to do is almost do the opposite of what Speed did. Pick a weight that you can try and do at least 10 reps comfortably on your first set. Bear in mind, by set two and three, you're going to get more fatigue. It's going to become harder. So unless set one was incredibly easy that you could damn near bang out, I wouldn't increase the weight. If it's a nice gradual lift and you're struggling to get to 10, that's probably just right because then between set two and three, you're going to start dropping down maybe to like eight, maybe seven reps, which is great. And obviously, make sure you're focusing on what you're doing. Pay attention to how much weight's on the bar because sometimes you may not pay attention and that's when obviously you get mismatched weights and it becomes a lot harder. And make sure your setup is correct. Before you lift the weight off the bar, make sure the bench is somewhat in the middle of the rack so it's correct. Make sure you've planted your feet nice and comfortable. Put your shoulder blades into the back. Some do the arch, some do it flat. At this point, as long as your feet's planted and your shoulders are very stable and you're ready to push, that's the main thing. If you want to do a little arching it, that's fine as well. And then make sure that you push up. Try not have your elbows out like this because that's just not benefiting. It's going to focus more on your shoulders rather than your chest. So be sure to try and keep your elbows tucked in when you can, even though you're holding a bar and press. But overall, I will say if I was recommending either the dumbbell or the bench press to a beginner or anybody, period, I would personally recommend the dumbbell bench press. That's simply because I find the dumbbell bench press is much better in regards to range of motion and also safety. Because the dumbbells are heavy, the good thing is you can just drop them and as long as no one's near you, you're not going to hit anybody and you find if you get stuck under the bar, the bar's across your chest and you're kind of struggling. Whereas the dumbbell, you can just let go or roll forward and there's a lot of ways to get out of it a lot easier. And number two, when it comes to dumbbells, because you aren't stuck to a rigid straight bar, you can kind of turn your wrist in a bit and really emphasize the chest a lot more. There are also more reasons why dumbbell could be better than the bench press, but those are the main two that I'd probably say I'd focus on. But overall, if you're a beginner watching, feel free to keep going to the gym or train at home. Just be careful, be safe, and probably not do what speed did. But anyways, people, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.